You said eight to 12 inches on Mount Lemmon, but I have to uh, tell you, Mr. Beamish, yeah. uh, playing in the snow was not in my plans this weekend. Ah. No, I wanted to stay warm. And if playing in the snow is part of your plans today, might want to think of a different plan. Melanie's going to tell you why in just a bit. First, though, for your commute cast in the morning rush, low 50s, partly cloudy skies, and maybe just a little bit of patchy fog in some of the low-lying areas. More sunshine breaking out for your drive home. Daytime highs into the upper 60s, running a few ticks below average for this time of year. All in all, a pretty typical late February day on tap with your nighttime lows bottoming out in the 40s. And again tonight, specifically into the overnight hours, could see some of that fog redeveloping thanks to lingering residual moisture from our weekend storm system. That's now off to the east. High pressure is replacing it. That's going to do a couple of things here. Number one, deflect California's next storm system away from us. Secondly, it's going to drive our temperatures into the upper 70s to low 80s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Thereafter, a couple of cold fronts moving in our direction, first of which arrives on Thursday, knocking our temperatures down about 10 to 15 degrees off of Wednesday's levels. Second cold front will swing in here second half of the weekend, and then I'll drop our temperatures from the upper 60s to low 70s down into the mid 60s. Now, despite these cold fronts, there's going to be some dry weather prevailing over the next seven days, not a ton of moisture with these frontal boundaries. So we'll call it mostly sunny next couple of days, turning partly cloudy on your Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. Keep in mind, folks, average high this time of year is around 68, 69 degrees. And for the most part, we'll be above that this week. Only exception being this afternoon and of course on Sunday as we drop into the mid 60s as the Tucson rodeo begins to wrap up.